Amen. I just want to give the saints, praise the Lord, an update. Amen. Praise the Lord on Sister uh, Mary McFarland. Yes. You guys know yes. uh, that she was, maybe she joined the church January. maybe three Sundays maybe ago, I'll say. Yes. Praise the Lord. She's also uh, visually impaired. Yes. Uh, praise the Lord. She left church. Amen. And went, you know, she'd been experiencing some fluid buildup on her legs. Mm -hmm. And uh, she left for work on Monday and got to feeling bad in the cab and told the taxi guy to turn around, take her back home. Mm -hmm. But she never made it back home. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, some people were saying that it was a, a heart attack or, or a stroke. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Uh, Doctor hadn't confirmed either, uh, but she is right now on a ventilator fighting for her life. Mm -hmm. uh, we went out there to see her, uh, Lady Scott and myself, on yesterday. And her sister has been there since she's been in the hospital. <clears throat> Definitely their hope, her hope is uh, that God would come by and see about her. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord and open up her eyes. We definitely believe that for her. Yes. Uh, but when I tell you, when you get the nurses talking doubtful, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, one nurse looked at us and said, you know, I'm, we're glad that the preacher came because we just don't think that this is going to end very well. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But, you know, we know our God is able. Yes. To do it exceedingly and abundantly above yes, all that we can ask mm -hmm. for. So we solicit your prayers for Sister Mary McFarland. Mm -hmm. Call her name out as much as you can. Yes. Praise the Lord. As much as we uh, know what's going on, we will definitely try to give everybody updates. I'll uh, try to make it my business that when I give an update, I'll send it through. Praise the Lord, our messenger or our uh, praise the Lord text line. So, amen, everybody will know. And I won't be having to say it, you know, over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But let's continue to pray. In Jesus' name, you never know where trouble is at. Amen. Yes. Right. And so it just behooves us to be ready. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen to me. Why are you in your right mind? Yes. You need to tell God thank you. That's right. Because what right. is it for you to be cognitively aware of everything that's going on in your yes. life? Yes, sir. Today. Yes. Sir. And then tomorrow you could be incapacitated. Yes. Don't right. even know you in the world. Yes. Ah, Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then when you stand before God, you can't say. Well, Lord, I, I I didn't have a chance because when you were in your right mind, he gave you a chance. That's right. So, amen, every time we have life, health and strength, our breath is in yes. our body. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever, if, if, if you don't have it right with God, get it right yes. with the Lord. That's right. Amen. There's no reason for any of us to perish when God has given us so much time. That's right. He's been good to us. Isn't that Real right? good. Real and I good. thank him tonight. Praise the Lord. We're so Lord. glad to see all of you God's people mm -hmm. in the midst. Praise the Lord. God is good. Yes, he is. Amen. Sunday, praise the Lord, was one of them <laughs> rock em, sock em. Yes, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's right. I just, there wasn't nothing left in me to say a preach on Sunday, so I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't preach. Amen. 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 You got to have the word. Well, if you backslide over one Sunday, you didn't have the word. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You got so much word in you, praise the Lord. I think what we have to do, we got to start living yeah. what's word. already in you. That's right. And when the Lord show up, praise God, there ain't no need for man to get in the way trying to do his thing. Yeah. At all. God knows who we are. He knows what we need. Amen. Yes. Amen. And he can speak to us better than any human voice can. Yes. And so we certainly thank him for all of you God's people tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight, I want to get into, praise the Lord, my teaching, what's love got to do with it. Praise the Lord. And we talked about it, I believe it was on the first Sunday, and we wanted to visit it on uh, this past Sunday, praise the Lord. However, amen, it, that wasn't just in what the Lord wanted us to do. But tonight, I want to deal with, amen, what's love got to do with it? Praise the Lord. And if you have your Bibles with you, I'd like to go to the book of St. Mark, 12th chapter. Praise the Lord. There we will read verses 28 through 31. St. Mark, chapter 12. Verses 28 through 
31. Hallelujah. When you have it, say amen. amen. You still looking? Say, hold on, preacher. Hold on, man. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll wait mm -hmm. for a second. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. And we start at verse 29. Praise the Lord. And Jesus answered him, The first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is namely, is like namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. There is none other commandment greater than these. Praise the Lord. And our subject for our teaching tonight is going to come in the form of a question. What is my motivation for serving God? What is my motivation? Say that to yourself. What is, what is my motivation for serving God? Now look at somebody else and ask them, what is your motivation for serving God? Amen? Mm -hmm. Father, may we do no damage to your word, but speak that which is sound, right, and true. Give us an understanding. Open up our understanding in the name of Jesus. Bless us, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, in these days and time, people do a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Do a whole lot of seemingly good things, a lot of good deeds. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, give to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Praise the Lord. Uh, UNICEF, mm -hmm. United Negro College Fund. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Center where for the sick kids, Saint Jude's, Saint Jude's. Mm -hmm. praise the Lord, Shriners, mm -hmm. all kind of praise the Lord, uh, charitable things that people do. Praise the Lord, we serve food during the holiday seasons for the homeless, mm -hmm. we feed them mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving, praise mm -hmm. the Lord, and Christmas, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are 10 other months that they still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hey, I mean, you know. I guess we make them fast them other 10 months. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you attend church regularly or are part of some type of uh, group or club, amen. Uh, and all of these uh, benevolent things surface wise look good mm -hmm. is that right amen. amen it looks good and, and and it's good to help people it's good a man to feed the hungry it's good to clothe the naked because those are the things that our christ uh told us to do amen, amen. amen. But while all of these things can be noble and as christians we should be involved in making uh the world a better place amen, amen. amen. Why we do what we do is just as, or if not more important, amen, than what we do. I want to say that. Why you do what you do is more important than what you do. Praise the Lord. Because the God that we serve don't just look at the actions, but the Bible says, by him the heart is weighed. Praise the Lord. God looks at your intentions. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh, when you look at David, praise the Lord. If anybody have ever studied the life of David, the Bible declares that David was a man after God's own heart. When, when, when God, a man, chose David, he bragged on David and said, I found me a man after my own heart. Yet, when we look at David, David did some atrocious things. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. We look at Saul and God rejected Saul. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, but, but David 
if you look morally at the things that David did, morally it looked like David was jacked up. Yes. <laughs> so why is it that God would reject a Saul, praise the Lord, and then approve of David if you're looking at the actions? But then God would speak to Samuel, praise the Lord, when he went down to the house of Jesse to choose a king to anoint. And he looked at, praise God, Eliab, and, and said, surely this is the Lord's anointing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Because he was big and strapping and tall and he looked like a warrior, kind of like Saul. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, praise the Lord, hallelujah, Samuel, look not on his countenance or his appearance. For God don't see as man see. Man looketh on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. So that got me to thinking, praise the Lord, hallelujah, that it is a heart issue. People's service to God, the way we walk before God, how we go out to him, and even the favor that we enjoy of the Lord is a heart issue. Hallelujah. And so, so many times, we, if, if, you, if you look at people's actions, praise the Lord, you, you will judge them and say, oh, yeah, they are saints. If anybody going to make it in, mm -hmm. they, they, I know they're going to make it in. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. And then we look at somebody else who you deem as an ain't. And you say, nah, he got a, he got a barbecue waiting on him. <laughs> praise the Lord. You just, you know. And, and, and even people that you, when, when, you, when you go to memorial and funeral services for folk, Praise the Lord that you kind of thought made it in. You do a little bit more shouting. <laughs> and hollering. Yeah. Wow! Glory to God. True. Amen. The preacher yeah. even almost just kind of puts them into heaven yeah. like they already there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do. And they'll get up there and they'll say, well, you know, you know, so-and-so life, you know, spoke for them. And we can't, you know, we can't put nobody up. But then the way they be talking, oh, but on that great getting up morning. <laughs> I can see Brother Johnson. Hallelujah. You don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Amen. Right. Brother Johnson, praise the Lord, could have been a freak. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't like my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <True> <laughs> praise right. the Lord. That's Hallelujah. Right. We look on the outward appearance, we judge mm -hmm. by what we see, but God looks at the heart. Amen. Right. Jesus was asked the question. And the question went something like this. Lord, what is the first commandment? And if you were to read that in the Greek, it, it, they were actually asking, what is the greatest commandment of all? That's really what they were asking. What, you know, what is the greatest commandment? And that's a fair question. Because by God, you don't want to break the greatest commandment. You want to praise the Lord, keep them. You, know, you want to do everything, but you're definitely the one that the biggest. You want to keep the biggest. And, and rabbis for centuries up until that point had argued over the commandments and how they were, praise the Lord, uh, 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 connected to one another. And so Jesus gives them, praise the Lord, uh, 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 a lesson, amen, in the greatest commandment. And who better to do it than the <laughs> word of God himself? Right. Hallelujah. Now, if Jesus says this, then you can take it to the bank, praise uh -huh. the Lord. Because he is the word of God in human form. And so he says the first of all commandments is hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Come on, somebody. Yes. And thou shalt love, amen, the Lord thy God, praise the Lord, with all of thy mind, with all of thy strength, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, with all of thy mind and all of thy strength. And this is the first commandment. Then he, then he tacks on something else. Because he went to Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, praise the Lord. But he had to tack on something else which spoke to the heart of this law. And said, and the second one is namely like this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You shall love your neighbor. So love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Uh -huh. And then love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. And he says, this is what he says. There is none other commandment greater than this. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now, that's in the red if you read it in the scripture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is none other greater, there's no other commandment greater than that. I don't care what people tell you. Circumcision, dietary laws, don't eat no pork, 
Don't need no catfish, no fat back, praise God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said, can't have no chitlins, brother Andrew. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. All of the, you know, Sabbath worship, praise the Lord. He said, to love God with all and to love your neighbor as yourself are the greatest commandments. There is none other greater. So if anybody asks you what's the greatest commandment, you tell them. Mm -hmm. To love God with your all. Yeah. And to love your neighbor just like you love yourself. Uh -huh. There is none other greater than these. Praise the Lord. Now, in, in these days and time, praise the Lord, people do a lot of things. Praise the Lord. And because our heart is not in what we're doing or the motivation behind it can be skewed when we offer it to God, God does not accept anything. Right. Uh -huh. Because the gift usually, praise the Lord, goes behind the heart of the giver. Amen. Yes. And so with him, the motivation is important. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Are we serving God to get recognition or kudos from people? Praise the Lord. There are people that do it. I just, I just, I just, I just want the Lord. You ain't even got to tell nobody I did it. Just, you know, the Lord. The longer the Lord. Like, okay, that sounds real good. And then when I don't say nothing about what you did, you be like, well, dog, folk be doing stuff for you that at least you could do and say thank you. If you said you did it from your heart and that you're not expecting nothing in return, if I don't say thank you, you shouldn't get no chip on your shoulder. That's right. Praise the Lord. If I don't mention you or put it in the church newsletter, uh -huh. praise the Lord, you shouldn't think about leaving. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Amen. Because you said God laid it on my heart. Uh -huh. Well, if the Lord laid it on your heart, then guess where the reward is coming from? The Lord. Hallelujah. And if you're doing things and man, if you're doing it just expressly for man to give you praise for it, the word of God says you already have your reward. That's right. Sometimes I look at these folk, praise the Lord, that be given to the homeless on the street and they pick out their camera and start rolling. Yeah. Wow. Yes, we saw this brother on the street and he was hungry. And we decided, come on, see, you see that? We're giving them a can of string beans. Oh, wow. Praise the Lord. With dust on it. <laughs> you don't like string beans. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Look at all of the people that we're feeding and all the people we're helping. The Bible says when you do that, you already have your reward. That's right. That's right. He says when you give alms, alms is what you give to the unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's struggling, somebody that's going through a bad situation. He says when you give your alms, you're not to let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Right. That don't mean we ain't supposed to know that you pay tithe. That don't mean we know that you're supposed to support your church. That ain't what that that ain't talking about. Praise the Lord, your, your required giving. Uh -huh. That's talking about your charitable giving. That's what alms is. Right. Alms is charitable giving. Uh -huh. And when you give to somebody, you are supposed to, to protect the dignity of the person that you're blessing. That's right. So you don't need to take pictures of giving to a homeless person. That's right. You don't need to film it. See all these homeless folk we out here helping? People say, well, that's a good idea. That's a, a good publicity move so that people know, you know, they'll want to give to your ministry because they know you're doing good things with it. Praise the Lord. You can tell folk you did it if that's what you're going to do. Praise the Lord. But if we're going to do it, praise God, we want to do it from a heart that is motivated by our love for God mm -hmm. and not for our desire, praise God, to be praised by the community. That's right. Because let me tell you something. If you live for praise for the community, you'll die for the lack of it. Yeah. That's yep. right. Hallelujah. A lot of these churches get done in because they do so much, praise the Lord, so that the community will think that they're on top and that they're a good church. And the first time that they don't please the community, praise the Lord, the community put a scandal out on their name. Hallelujah. Because they're so big in the eyes of you better be careful on these big platforms, praise the Lord, trying to make yourself look big. 
How the, if God decides to give you honor before the people and those that are in the city, praise God, that's a blessing. Yes. But remember, everything that you're doing, you're doing it unto the Lord and not so that men will praise you. Yes. Because if men give you all the praise, what are you going to get when you get to heaven? Amen. For everything you do with the motivation to be praised by men, to be seen by men, when you stand before God, you have no reward for that. And I'm and I'm and I'm sorry. There's gonna be some people in heaven that ain't gonna have no reward. Uh -huh. and, and and people gonna be like, praise God. Well, who is that person walking around here? He ain't got no reward. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the one. He was the one that was given to be seen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That that was the one that did it so that the pastor could say, oh, that's that that a boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he got all he he got his reward. So you ain't gonna get paid now and later I know that's right. for your heavenly reward. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all don't like my talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not going to advance you on it. That's right. Praise the Lord. Whatever you do on earth for the kingdom, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, is going to be taken care of in the kingdom. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Now, there are some things that he did promise you while you're here on earth, but he says when you get it on earth, you're going to have it with trouble and with tribulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in heaven, life everlasting. It's going to be different. Uh -huh. So he says if you're doing it to be praised by men, you have your reward. Mm -hmm. What is my motivation for serving God? Is it to keep my mama or my wife off my back? Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. I went to church because I know my mama was going to ask me, did you go to church this Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did you go to church? So yes, I just do it because my mama, I know it, or my wife, she's going to tell me, she, you know, she ain't going to give me no sugar if I don't go to church. I know that's right. Wow. Wrong motivation. Amen. 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 It, you know, it worked, it got you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your heart ain't right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. What, what is your motivation? Well, there are all the freaky chicks that's in the church, praise God. That's why I'm going to look good. Amen. Amen. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Somebody told, somebody told us, yeah, man, the, the church is a great place to pick up women. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, praise Lord. You're right, I, though. Yeah, man. I hear that. They, they say, <laughs> yeah, you act like you say, and catch the Holy Ghost one Sunday. That's you'll have two chicks you. under your arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they believe it, that, that you, you catch the Holy Ghost. Like God threw the Holy Ghost out of heaven, praise the Lord, <laughs> like a ball. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I caught the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. What's your motivation? Mm -hmm. Oh, I go there because, you know, anybody that's, anybody goes to the waitress. Right. The mayor of Nightdale go to the waitress. Doctors and lawyers. And so, you know, it's good for my business. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We can network and we can hook up. Do you know that's how people choose their churches? Yes, sir. Yep. A lot of people, they, yeah. don't, they don't choose their church because of the spirit of God yeah. or the word. Right. They choose their churches because of the affluent mm -hmm. and the wealth. Yep. Come on, somebody. Amen. They choose the church, praise the Lord, because that's where all of the celebrities go. Uh -huh. yeah. That's where I can go get the hookup. Mm. Yeah. My pastor is highly educated. Wow. Hallelujah. With his doctorate. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Amen. He is well known, so that's yeah. why I go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. They have no heart for God whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Going to church for them is not a spiritual experience. Right. It's just something, it's like a social club. Mm -hmm. It's like being a mason or an elk. Mm -hmm. Praise God or an Eastern star mm -hmm. or going to a, a fraternity or a sorority meeting. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to the country club to hang with the boys. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and church better not last more than an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. I got lunch. <laughs> I was surprised that there were people that ate all three meals on Sunday because you know growing up we didn't. Uh -uh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we barely got breakfast. Uh, uh, Amen. Right. Breakfast and right. lunch. I mean, mm -hmm. like, did we did we sign up to fast when we come to church? Every <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Oh, and then, it was, eat right. it was one and, then, and then all night long creeping. Oh, <laughs> in the kitchen. Right. I'm hungry. Yeah. The Pentecostal folk don't feed you. Oh, <laughs> they figure you need some deliverance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. Or, here's a good one. I serve God because I don't want to burn in hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot I, of I, I don't want to go to hell. Yeah. Now, who in here wants to go to hell? <laughs> I don't. 
Seriously. I don't want to listen. The preachers, when I grew up, I preached so hard and so strong about hell, I could never feel the heat creeping on the mm. back of my neck. Yeah. And, and then let it be one of them revivals. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You go home, and every little sound in the room, you jump. <laughs> yeah. Anybody ever been there? Yes, sir. Don't let it be a night when the moon oh, will turn an orange. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus coming. I ain't read Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Scare you! Yeah. You know, the fear of hell is a is, is a great motivator. Yeah. Uh -huh. It'll motivate you now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get one of them fiery brimstone <laughs> sermons. They'll, they'll, it'll, it'll keep you stirring for a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. But guess what? It don't last. It don't last. That's right. Because right. the motivation ain't right. Mm -hmm. You're letting the fear of hell yeah. be the motivation. Rather than the love of God. Fear, fear of hell might get you started. But somewhere in there, the love of God got to be there. Because the fear of, I, I promise y'all, the fear of hell is not enough to keep people on this way. Because fear is torment, the Bible says. It's control. If you don't do that, you're going to hell. Praise the Lord. Well, 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 Pastor, why, why we got to wear cotton stock? Because you're going to hell. <laughs> I mean, everything, hell. <laughs> Pastor, I would like to straighten my hair. I can't straighten, you can't straighten your hair. Why? Because you're going to hell. <laughs> why, why should I come to church? Because if you don't, you're going to hell. Right. I mean, that's it. <laughs> so everything I'm doing, I'm, I, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> There's a song that, that they made up. I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> wow. Come on, somebody. That's how we skip. That's how the missionaries would get you on the altar and get you to crying out to God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You up there. Jesus, you know you ain't halfway in. The only reason why you up there because your mama made you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What you hollering for? You don't mean it. You're going to hell. If you die tonight, you're on your way to Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that last, that lasts for all good three days. Mm, yeah. Then you back yep, to your yep. mean tripe yep. yourself again. Yeah, right. <laughs> the same with, you know why? Because the heart wasn't changed. Right. Yeah. You can't scare nobody into salvation. Nope. You can't make rules and rules. Listen to me. Rules are not going to save you. That's right. Amen. That's right. Praise God. That's right. Today, I, I, I want to submit to you that everything we do for God in service to Him should be first motivated by our love for Him. And if what we and, and, and if our motivation behind what we do, which is our why, is love, then our what really means something. So it is not insignificant, and it's not lost on us that when asked what is the first and the greatest commandment of all. The first thing Jesus said, he quotes the Shama, praise the Lord, which is Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And, and, and let's, let's get that straight. There's only one Lord. Mm -hmm. There's only one God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's only one. And, 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 and it would help you to know this one God. Yes. Praise God. Because there's going to always be things trying to compete for the love of God in your life. That's right. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. That there is a love that should be reserved, an adoration that should be reserved for God and God alone. Oh, that's right. Not Amen. your pastor. Amen. Not your mama. Not your daddy. Not Amen. your children. Nobody. Amen. Not even your own self. Amen. Praise the Lord. There should be a place, Amen, that is solely God's throne and His alone, mm -hmm. because He says, "I'm not going to compete with any other God. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other God." Are you understanding what I'm Amen. telling you? Praise the Lord. And so he says, I want you to know, first of all, that here, listen, the Lord our God is one. And this one God, 
demands that you love him with all of your heart, mm -hmm. all of your mind. Come on, somebody. With all of your soul, Jesus. in one translation, and with all of your strength or with all of your might. Amen. So to shorten that so, it, so, so, so you don't get tangled up, love God with all. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot when I first read that scripture with understanding, I got so convicted because I asked myself, well, Lord, have I ever really loved you then? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I tell y'all something? When the motivation behind what you do is love, it's a lot easier to do it. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. It's a lot easier to deal with somebody that you love. Yes. yes. Amen. When you love somebody, yes. when you love somebody, you don't even see all of the flaws that they got. Amen. That's right. Amen. You don't. That's Some right. people are born with a face that only a mama could love. Mm -hmm. You indeed. Y'all know I'm telling you. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And, and everybody else. Everybody else is seeing, you know. <laughs> but that mom, oh, that mama baby. That mama baby. I don't, I don't quit telling everybody that babies are cute and true. If I can't say nothing good, I say, oh, you look just like your mom. You look just like your dad. Oh, look at the baby. So I know you tell these secrets about it. Y'all be like, oh, he's so cute. And then go back on the car. Me talking talk about Yeah. 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 One lady that I used to work with oh at the creamery <laughs> used to say, oh, all babies are cute. Mm -hmm. And I would look at her like, mm, okay. <laughs> Praise God, amen. Oh, God. Y'all can disagree. How <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> y'all hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> when you love somebody, their, praise the Lord, flaws and faults. Don't get on your nerve mm -hmm. as much as somebody that you don't really love all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say so. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I'm gonna tell you like it is. Yep. 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 When you when, when, when you love when you love somebody, when, when a man loves a woman, she can burn the grits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he know they burn. <laughs> he just eat them. Some cheese. Girl, I tell you what, we got these Cajun black and grits here, girl. You know how. Girl! Love is a grace. It graces you. You take more off of folk that you love. That's right. Come on, somebody. How can she stay with that man? Because she loves him. What does he see in her? Love him. Love comes. Mm -hmm. A yes. multitude. Yes, it does. It covers it. It covers it. It covers it. It covers it. I don't care how bad the man is. Mm -hmm. That mom and they talking about we need to we, we got to put him out of his misery. We got to kill him. He's a bad. The mama still please please don't he done Come kill on, fifty folks. Yeah. <laughs> and the mama said please don't right. kill my son. Don't I'm kill him. Here. Don't yeah. kill him. That's my baby. Yeah. 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 True. Love produces forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Love makes the miles. Hallelujah. Go by quick. When, 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 when me and Lady T started talking, she lived way in Beulahville, and I lived in Raleigh. Mm. Praise the Lord. And, you know, I didn't know how to go the easy route because I didn't know nothing much about Beulahville. I went to, whenever I went to go see, I went the long way. <laughs> and the long way made it about an hour 45 and if I was riding with my pastor who drove slow, <laughs> more than two hours. Oh, wow. Amen. Hey, we were late everywhere. Amen. We <laughs> hey, but you know, praise the Lord, I'm going to see T. Sure, everything was feeling good. Hey, Amen. Amen. I wanted to go see him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whenever I wanted to talk to him, and, and Grandma didn't have long business on her phone, so I had to go to the corner store. And buy them calling cards. Uh -huh. Five, ten. I learned that the five and the ten just didn't do good. So I just went on and got twenty. <laughs> talk two hours. Do you know that you can talk two hours on a calling card? <laughs> and we talk. And the thing said, eh, you have one minute left. <laughs> And as soon as it went out, I'd go back to the store and buy another. <laughs> yes. No, that's right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Weekends, I knew where I was going. Mm -hmm. 
heading down. Praise God, me and me and me and my buddy, Amen. We he was liking somebody down there, and I was liking her. And so when we got where we had our license and had our car, we drive down there. <laughs> Bless God, you know you couldn't stay with none of them down there because they had daughters, so you wasn't gonna stay down there. <laughs> so praise God, we put our little pennies together and get old Roach Hotel, little Roach Motel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a hotel in Rose Hill. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. We got it. Amen. You know when them hotels look like they got the little outline marker where there was a body <laughs> 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 Man, but for me, praise the Lord, that was like the holiday inn. The holiday inn express and all because holiday, I wanted to see Tisha. Yeah. I didn't mind. Uh, I got a ticket one night, I was so sleepy trying to drive back home. Yeah. And the man must have thought I was about drunk. Wow. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love. Yeah. My father-in-law was a strict man. To the yes, I say he was a strict man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wasn't no walking you to the door, giving you no kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. No, that's right. no car riding. You go to see her, you got to sit in the living room. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He did get up and walk out. But then when you know you have been there long, they go to walking. Uh, got to go to the kitchen. Yes, sir. Get some water. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a sign right there. Yes, sir. Time to go. Time to go, right? <laughs> I was loving that girl so good, we would be standing on the church ground talking. Praise our God, and he would come with that big old truck, <laughs> that Chevy Deluxe, and pull up, praise mm -hmm. the Lord. No hello, praise the Lord. How you doing, son? God bless. None of that. <laughs> Tisha, let's go. Uh, she couldn't say goodbye, no hug, no. Just she got in the truck and go. <laughs> I was the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> praise God. Whenever I did call, he got tired of us calling. Praise the Lord. You know, he had three girls down there. He get tired of the boys calling. He would take the phone and take it off the hook. Oh, yeah. And then dare somebody in the house to go oh, move. Yeah, I, know that's right. I went through that. You know, because somebody said, well, why you, why you, why you just go find another girl? I didn't want an easy girl. I wanted her. I loved her. Yeah, amen. Love make you go through some things yeah. for what you want when you love somebody. That's right. You don't notice all the little bumps and the niches in the road when you love somebody. That's right. So that's why the first commandment was, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. That's right. Because when you love God with all your heart, all of the negative stuff that you got to go through, yeah, you feel it, but you're not one. See, I'm convinced that most folk don't really love God. Uh -huh. Because you can, you know, you ask the church, you poll the church, how many of y'all in here love God? At least 99% of them are going to raise their hand. Yeah, yeah. And the one that didn't, that, that one that didn't, he probably was sleeping and didn't hear what you say. Right. <laughs> but most of them are going to say, I love the Lord. I really love the Lord. I love Jesus. He, I love the Lord. You mean, oh, I love the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Until this Lord that you love asks you to do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now you got a problem. Because yep. mm -hmm. you really don't mm -hmm. love him. Mm -hmm. You don't love him. You, you, you might love what he do for you. Right. Uh -huh. You might love how he pulls you out of situations. Mm -hmm. How he uh -huh. heals your body. Yep. Uh -huh. How he pay your bill and come in on time whenever you are in trouble. You, you love what he does. For you, praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. But a lot of times you don't love him. And, and sometimes that's one of the reasons why God don't always answer the prayer the way you want him to answer. Uh -huh. Because he wants to know, do you love me for me or do you love me for what I'm giving you? Yeah. Yeah. Every man knows what I'm talking about, especially yeah. when you're dealing with your children. Yeah. 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 Some of them will not come sit on your lap and hug on you and love you until they want <laughs> something. Yeah. That's, right. that's right. What 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 do you want? That's right. What do you want? No, I love you just for the oh, I love you, Dad. Just for the sake of saying I love you. <laughs> I love you, Dad. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there, you always got that one uh -huh. that you know that the motive. So when they say I love you, that it don't what mean nothing. Because yeah. the motivation behind it is you want a video game. Yeah. 
Or you getting ready to ask me, can I go this place over the week? Because you're about to know I'm going to say no. Uh (laughs) But if I can butter you up with love. Uh Come on, somebody. Uh It don't mean that. And that's how we do God. When we want something from God, we turn on to pray. Oh, God, you're so good. I love you. God, God, look at you like you don't love me. (laughs) You wouldn't even make me a ham sandwich at midnight. You don't love me. Uh Pray the Lord. But the first commandment is love the Lord thy God with all. That's right. That's right. Check your love level. Because love is not just love, praise the Lord, when things are going your way. True love is even love when it's inconvenient. That's, right. That's when love is really proven when Amen. it's inconvenient. Amen. If, if, if it's always got to be convenient for me to love you. You ever met people like that? Convenient yeah. love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you got to always do what I want you to do. Yeah. It's got to always fit in my time frame. Uh, God forbid that it, it caused me to drive out of the way. Mm-hmm. That's not love. <laughs> Some people don't know the difference between love and infatuation. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. All them butterflies you got, you better check and make sure it's love yes. Amen. and not gas. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because let me tell you something. When you say you love somebody, you gonna be your love will be tested. Yes, you will. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, will. Hallelujah. Praise God. And just understand the person, amen, that you marry is not the same person you dated. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna just tell you the truth. Amen. That's Man. it. The person that you dated. Was interviewing for the job. Uh huh. That's right. Uh, and y'all know right. y'all yes. embellish. You know that right. <laughs> On your resumes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Amen. Start off cooking. <laughs> Start off frying chicken. What? Yes, sir. What? Go ahead, Pastor. Start off doing it. Hell. <laughs> Start off. I'm just so sweet. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Right. Then all of a right. sudden, praise God, the chicken get cold. Right. Loving ain't love. Uh-huh. Life happens. Mm-hmm. You get busy. Yes. Uh-huh. Got children. Yes. That's going to test your love. Yes. It will. I love when I talk to young folks. You just can't tell me that I love them. Okay, mm. you love them. Don't love them. <laughs> Don't love them. Yeah. And when you come back to me, I, I can't, no, no, uh-uh, no, no. Right, right. You love them. Uh-huh. If I can't tell you how to live, then right. don't come tell me about you. I don't want to know your problems. That's true. That's true. They post all they love on Facebook. Uh-huh. All they love. Oh, I'm just so in love. Oh, my God. And yes. this and that. No. Oh, and pictures and pictures and pictures. Right, all right. these pictures. Yeah. And then when they break up, don't nobody know about it's it. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wow. they, 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 put, they post all these yeah. long indirect statuses. Yes. Uh-huh. You need to stay out of people being uh-huh. hold up, hold up. Baby, if we learned about the relationship, we ought to learn about the breakup too. Now. Come on now. Don't don't do me like that. Don't tease me like that. You know I'm about halfway nosy. <laughs> And now you want to have a, 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 a praise God, a, a love convention. Yes. A marriage teaches a shut up. You don't know that woman. <laughs> you don't know that man. Oh, I, I love us, blessed. I love us in heaven. Stay married a little while. Yeah. A little while. That's right. mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Love covers a multitude. Yes. <laughs> if you're too picky, it ain't love. <laughs> picky about every little thing. Everything. That ain't love. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> Give me the silent treatment every time. That ain't no love. Amen. Love is kind. That's right. Love is patient. Amen. Long suffering. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. The first commandment, love the Lord. Yeah. You can't love my head and hate my body. Amen. Amen. What do you mean by that, Pastor? Amen. There are folks that say they love Jesus but don't love church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love Jesus. Just because I love Jesus don't mean I got to love the church. No, no, it's a package deal. Right. You can't love the head right. and hate the body. That's, That's right. right. You got to have it all. Yeah. Right. I'm the let's got. Well, Marcus, I'll marry you, but I just only want your head. <laughs> the rest of it, hold up, that ain't gonna work. You a serial killer or something? <laughs> well, that's what people look like walking around here talking about they love you. They a Christian. Yeah. With no church, don't go to church. Don't like church. Don't like the preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know that's right, Pastor. Am I making sense? Yes, <laughs> so it, 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 there is a reason why it's numerically the first commandment. I'll get to the other one, love your neighbor as yourself, but I want to get to the loving God first. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you're looking for a husband, let me ask you a question. How is his relationship with God? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forget that he got hazel eyes. <laughs> uh -huh. Forget that he bowling. Amen. Amen. Forget that she got an hourglass shape or whatever mm -hmm. shape you like. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Forget she got eyes so dreamy you get in the house for days. Uh -huh. Forget that. Yeah. If you're thinking right, what is that relationship with God? Like? Mm -hmm. If you as a man can slow your significant other down from going to church and serving the Lord, that ain't the one. Mm -hmm. sure ain't. If I lay out of church and lay up in the bed with you, you ain't the one. That's right. <laughs> Why you say that, Pastor? Because the truth of the matter is, if I love God properly, mm -hmm. then I'm going to love you like I'm supposed to love you. Amen. Right. But if I don't love God, I don't even have anything to keep me in check. Yeah. Amen. Y'all don't like my tongue. Amen. I don't have anything to keep me in check. So all you women, you praying for God to send you a man. You praying, and then all of a sudden, one come and you just you quit coming to church. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Church, I know real good and well when a man get in the picture. Yep, yep. Amen. <laughs> Sisters, they faithful in the church, uh -huh. come in the church. I mean, in every revival. Yeah. <laughs> every revival. Yeah, amen. Pray that every Sunday, on the flow. Knock true. out every That's Sunday. That's true. Amen. Then all of a sudden, they get missing. Yeah. You can't find them. There's a Jimmy somewhere. Uh -huh. ah. yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a Pete somewhere. Yes, sir. I know I've been preaching and pastoring long enough. Amen. You can't judge. I ain't judging. I know. Right. Amen. <laughs> Very much, sir. Yep. Hallelujah. Be in the church. You know, you, maybe if you miss a Sunday because you were sick, pastor, first lady, get your call. Check you everything all right. Sister John, yeah, I just had a little cold. I'll be back next Sunday. Okay, sweetheart, God bless you now. <laughs> Click up. You get a Jimmy in the picture, they don't even answer no phone. <laughs> <laughs> don't even answer yeah. no texts. Amen. Amen. Oh, man. Like, you go to Facebook, you done got, got the pastor blocked on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I done seen it so much And I know how it is right. And then when you finally do come back to the church You ain't got no fire None, right. You ain't got no power <laughs> No anointing Amen. And you think everybody looking at you funny No nah, baby you done gave your power to somebody That don't love God Amen. And consequently they don't love you That's Amen. right Amen. That's right Tell it. That's right. Praise God mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Amen. Amen. Love God first. Mm -hmm. Make him first. Yes. Yes. Make him first. Love him with all. Mm -hmm. In other words, everything that should go to him, give it to him. Yes. Uh -huh. When you serve God from a heart that is motivated by love, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. You're not trying to serve God to keep from going to hell. Amen. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. The, the issue of hell is taken off the right. table. It, it I'm is. serving him it, it is. because I love him. And even if I make a mistake, I want to get it right with him. Yeah. Not because if I don't make get it right, I'm, I'm going to be lost. No, because when you love somebody, I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand if me and my wife at odds. Yeah, I know that's Amen. right. Oh, no. For real. Amen. Amen. 
laying in the bed, she on one side. Oh, yeah. I'm on the other, her back to me, and my back to her. Yeah. You know, you trying to you try you trying to be tough, you know. Yeah. Okay. I said I was sorry the last time. I hate <laughs> that. <laughs> You, know, you want to you want to uh, stick your toe across the side of the bed. Uh, like, uh, uh, <laughs> one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock, three. You ain't, can't get no sleep. No sleep. <laughs> get up, go get some water. Lay back down. Otherwise, you look. I'm sorry, man. Forgive me, man. I was wrong. I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got to say? Yeah, I know that's right, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. Get my sugar. You say what you want to say about say me. Say what you want, right? <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm a happy cow. Amen. <laughs> I'm, <so nice>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking better than y'all saying amen tonight. Amen. Is your love for God more? I can't stand to be separated from God. I can't stand to be sitting in the church and see everybody else getting blessed and I'm sitting here like mm. yeah. 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 Real. 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 Where you at, Lord? Yeah. And I'm telling you, if I see the anointing fall too many times and ain't nothing charging me, I'm sitting here like, okay, what's wrong? Yeah. Well, hold up, wait, wait, Jesus. Yeah. Now, either they faking or oh something wrong God. with me That's now. Right. Right. Come on now. Because right. the spirit, yeah. know the spirit. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Amen. Yeah. You used to being in fellowship with him. I don't want to be out of fellowship Amen. with him. Man. Man. You know, for the there are people that are so out of fellowship with God. Mm -hmm. They don't know don't when he know. came and they don't even know when he lived. That's right. There are wow. churches that are out of fellowship because yes. we got good music. Mm -hmm. yeah. there, there, there. Your music is your spirit. Mm -hmm. Music is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I tell you what, if you got a discerning ear, you can hear yes. when God is in you. Yeah, and you can hear when it's a lot of flesh. Yes, sir. There's something spirit, no spirit. Yes. There is a hallelujah that will shake you to the core of your foundation. Yeah. Yeah. There is a thank you, Jesus. I know that came from God. Yes. Uh -huh. It's not about how loud it is, it's how sincere it is. There you go. Hallelujah. Yes. God. Are y'all understanding me? Woo. You cannot love what you do not know. That's right. When you don't know nobody, you don't love them. Uh -huh. I mean, seriously. Well, love your neighbor as you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about a more intimate kind of love. Mm -hmm. Because you know him. If you don't know God, you don't talk to him, you don't pray to him, you don't read his word. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can't love who you don't know. Amen. Yeah. Right. You can't know who or what you don't have a relationship with. Yes, sir. And you can't have a relationship without being exposed to his presence. You must, I've got to be in his presence. My daughters are now older, and they starting to like boys. Stand. <laughs> they like boys. Yeah. What in the world? Uh, what do you like a boy for? What that all about? Uh, <laughs> now my daughter, she just she's normally bubbly, outgoing, but she went through her little heartbreak. Bless God. And then she walking around, she moping. And <laughs> just, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Uh, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> Hallelujah. Ready to go get that boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready to jerk her up and say, you don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, bless God, I come in one day and she just, <laughs> 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 He's back. <laughs> I gotta quit, y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Submission is out of love. To a woman that loves her husband, submission is not a hard thing. It's easy to love a man or to submit to a man that you love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's hard to love a woman that won't submit. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. It's hard. It's a hand in hand thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. True submission is a thing of the heart. Mm -hmm. Love, not because somebody made. You better do what I say. Mm -hmm. I'm the head. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I'm cooking grits today, baby. I ain't burning these. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. Love, love, love is a love affair. Yeah. It's a love affair with God. Is a love. Do you love Him? Do you love to be in His presence? Yeah. Yeah. You want to be where He is? Yeah. You ever like like all day long? You're working and you're busy and you're distracted, but it's like, oh my God, I can't wait till I get home because oh. it's just gonna be me and the Lord. No, I don't want to talk. No, <laughs> ignore, cut it off, get by myself. Uh -huh. If I got to get in the car and ride down that long country road, uh -huh. it's gonna be me. And that's right. And Amen. my Lord. Amen. Because I got to be in His presence. Amen. I gotta quit. Man. I serve him because I love him. Yes. And I love him because he first loved me. Yep. First John 4 and 19 says we love him because he first loved. He initiated yeah. the relationship. Yeah. He initiated the chase. Yeah. Yeah. He came after me. That's right. Flamboyant. Right. He came out for me, yeah. teasing me with grace, yeah. teasing me with blessings and faith, yeah. <clears throat> teasing me with, praise our God, unconditional love. Uh -huh. He first loved me. Mm -hmm. Then I got hooked. Amen. Now I love him. Amen. He says in his word, with love and kindness, Hallelujah. have I drawn you. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what love was until he showed me yeah. how to love. Yes, love. The scripture in St. John, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to close on this note. The scripture in St. John, chapter 14 and verse 15, that says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. When you first read that, it looks like he's saying, in order to prove your love to me, you got to keep my commandments. That's, I mean, and then that's how it was preached. If you look, his word said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't keeping his commandments, you ain't loving him. Mm -hmm. So that makes me go after him with a law-based love mm -hmm. or a rule love. Okay. So I'm trying to do all of this to prove that I love him. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's like stacking all the cards up or the dominoes up to the hip bop. What's that game called? Jenga or something? And get it up there and then all of a sudden when you have a bad time and the thing just follow up. Oh! That's, how, that's how it feels when you're going out there like that. Yeah. But if you read it like Jesus intended it, he says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You ain't got to worry about it. Being obedient. Right. You ain't got to worry about keeping his word. If you right. love me, the natural byproduct yeah. is going to be pleasing God. Mm -hmm. If you love me. Not, well, did I do this? Check. Did I do that? Check. 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 That's not love. Yeah. Nope. That's a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's work. That's, that's work. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But when you love him, when you love him, I do right because I love. Because I'm that's right. Amen. I do right. Amen. Praise the Lord. And my wife said them shoes look ugly. I change them because I love them. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, call me what you want to call me. That's right. I change them because I love them. I want, you know, I want to please her. I want yeah. her to be happy. Amen. It's like when she fried me some chicken one day. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. She do it because she know it ain't that she just just want to get in there and get behind that hot grease. Yeah, I know that's right. But she do know that I love her fried chicken. <laughs> I'm telling you, Colonels ain't got nothing on that chick. <laughs> Amen. I know that right. Praise the Lord. And when she do it, it's like I just smile for you. Yes, sir. Because she did that for me. me. I what can I do for you, baby? Uh, <laughs> what do you want? Uh, <laughs> Anything. That's right. To the half of my kingdom. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, you better fry that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
Go ahead, Pat. So the motivation behind serving the Lord should be your love for him. Check your love levels. Check it. Check how you love it. Is serving God a chore? Is coming to church a chore? Is praising God like, I just don't. Check your love levels. He told one church, he says, I have something against you. You lost your first love. First love. Ain't nothing like a first love. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That first love will have you lose a weight. <laughs> now you think you can just live on love and love and love and right. getting small and skinny. Mm -hmm. Boy, you wasting away to nothing. It's all right, love keeping me alive. <laughs> <laughs> me and you against the world, baby. Just love. What we gonna eat? Love. Where we gonna stay? Love. <laughs> Under the stars. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. A pot or a window. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with you, baby. Where well, we going under the stove? Okay, baby, I'm going with you. <laughs> sitting in the house and the roof leaking. You're sitting there catching the pot, catching the water together when it rains. No, I love you. <laughs> what? Struggle. Oh, let me tell you something. If you're willing to struggle with yeah, me, yeah, there you go. then when, I, when I'm doing good, you're going to be. But, but if you left me high and dry in the struggle... <laughs> Oh. You get what I'm saying? Yes, you left me high and dry, and then all of now I'm doing good. Uh -huh. Hey, baby, you remember me? Uh -huh. That Sunday morning kind of love. Uh -huh. yeah, I yeah, I remember you. Yeah, exactly. Your hateful <laughs> self. <laughs> love, love, love. Check your love now. What's your motivation behind serving the Lord? That's a, that's a, that's a. A question you have to really mm -hmm. dig in. Yeah. Because when your motivation is him, forget what everybody else thinking. So. Yeah. Them folk at the church, they just mean. I ain't I don't want to go back to that mean your love level because you know, that's them. That's mm -hmm. them. That's he told that's you yeah. to love. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving you not because of you. Yeah. I'm loving you because of him. Yeah. 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 The only faith, the reason why you got favor in my sight, because yeah, yeah. I love him. Yeah. You better hope I love him. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. You, 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 you feel me? You get what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Love. Amen. Love comes. Yes, mm -hmm. Y'all always trying to uncover what somebody did. Mm -hmm. and, and praise the Lord. And yeah. you, know, you, you know he 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 got a sweetheart on the side. Mm -hmm. And everybody, child, did you hear what I I'm gonna tell on the devil. You ever be? You yeah. ever? Yes. You ever tell about? I'm gonna tell on the devil. Yes. And usually when they get up there, they tell on the devil yeah. in them. Yeah. They tell on the devil in the person that they don't like. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That ain't love. It's so ain't, bro. Love. You know what love does? When you ain't when you ain't right. I'm quitting y'all. I'm quitting. But this is good to me. Yeah. When you quit, when when, 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 when you when you when you're doing something, the time ain't quite right. Love, love do like this. Uh -huh. Love, That's right. love yeah. say no. Yeah. I can't see that. No, no. I'm going to cover you. I'm going to cover you. I saw Sister Chantel light up a blunt. No, you didn't. Them just fighting words. You see smoke coming all out the car. No, you ain't seen that. It was cold that day. That's right. That's right. Love. Love. Love make you wear when folk acting up and that crazy. You ain't gonna fall out of love with them like, oh no, I ain't dealing with you no more. But you know, maybe Chanel wasn't feeling good that day. Something was going on. Love make you think that's right. The better. The better that's Right. Love, love. Yeah. That's right, brother. So Amy didn't talk to me. Well, maybe you know she was she, yeah, you know, she was going through. You know, so, yes, I'm gonna pray for Amy. She had a lot on her mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, love. Yep. When you ain't got no love, I ain't going all of it. <laughs> <laughs> going back that church, even the preacher don't speak. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You don't do your babies like that. That's right. Amen. Sometimes a baby will get mad with you. I don't like you. Uh -huh. <laughs> They'll do it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. 
And you don't, you don't throw them out. I don't want you no more. <laughs> why? Why? Because love mm -hmm. covers. Yes, it does. I, I charge you today and, and I give you good wisdom. If you ever see a man and his bride at odds with one another, you better not get it between that. Stay out of it. You better right. stay away. Stay yeah. out of it. Yes, She's trying to come and tell you how he is or what he That's does. Right. You know what? Yep. Well, baby, I'm praying for you. Be encouraged. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't get in that. Yeah, no. Cause I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Cause she loves him. Yep. Right now, she just don't yeah. like what he's doing, so right, she's right. mad. Right. But in her, she loves him. Uh -huh. That's right. And, and and she gonna forget all the stuff that you told Say so. about him. Yep. Cause, Cause he gonna come with that talk game. Uh -huh. Like bro, and they got that talk game. I'm saying, no, Tanya, no. No. Tanya, like. <laughs> now I'm sitting here mad at him for what she said. Right, right. And she back at, they, they go, and I got a problem with the relationship. Right, right. Mind your business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you better mind it. Like in your, oh, glory to God, even in your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. yep. How can God yep. bless uh, uh, Andre like that? Mm -hmm. How he living? How God, you better mind your business. Yeah. Mind your business. You better mind your business. Mm -hmm. And you can be putting your mouth on somebody who may legitimately be doing wrong, mm -hmm. but they in the favor of God. God will right. get you yes, and restore. Y'all don't like yeah. that I'm talking yeah. today. Yeah. Folks, ha have you ever seen God bless somebody that you don't think he should have blessed? Yeah, bless, yeah. Put somebody yeah. back in the game that yes. you thought they was out of commission. Yeah. Because you can never judge who God ought to love. You better stay out that business. Yeah. That's a lover's relationship. Yeah. You don't know how deep that I'm talking about with God. You don't know how deep that relationship is. Yeah. Ask David. Yeah. Real. David was an adulterer, yeah. a murderer. Yeah, right. Come on, somebody. Yeah, right. By all accounts, he should have been killed. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I tell you what, <laughs> yes, sir. the Lord had mercy and favor on him. You can do good. You, you, you all right as long as God blessing somebody that you like. Amen. <laughs> he start blessing somebody that you think he ought to get. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then he gets somebody that you think he ought to bless. Uh, yeah. Your ways are not oh, like wow. God's ways. Right. Your thoughts are not like His thoughts. Amen. You better stay out of other people's relationship with God. Amen. You don't know their business. You don't know what kind of thing them and God got That's going on. Right. Right. I know what the Word say. I know what the Word say too. It says study to be quiet and mind your business. May God bless you tonight. Y'all get anything out of this tonight? Amen. May God bless you tonight. Have a smile upon you. Keep you thinking on God's word. Amen. Check your motivation. My motivation for serving God is love. Amen. Love him with all. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. Teach us, Lord, to love you. Help us to have a heart like thine. Help us, O oh God, to love you with all. Let there be no place within us that doesn't have love and reverence for your holy name. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Marcus, if you'll come and look at the up in Jesus' name. Yes. Oh.